Boom. Yeah. All right. What's happening, world? Happy Friday. Welcome to another episode of Kanye Confessionals. I'm your host, Deshaun. Here at Where Media Media, Where Media Meets Studios, in conjunction with VJ TV, Feral Films, History in the Making uh, Entertainment, Keep It Cloudy Productions, you know. Brought to you by Golden enough. State Cider. Every good hero should have one. Hey, they put some money in my pocket. And the theme song. Hey, why well, come I got one? I mean, yeah, I, I mean, shit. I was shouting them out. Satisfactory answer. I hope they cutting the check. <laughs> what, that, <laughs> was that prison related? I mean, yeah, they cutting the check. <laughs> was that prison related? No they, prison talk. I'm like, huh? I'm going to need my money for that. <laughs> Plug. Message. Bread me out. Cash me like like a hoe on the, on the block. Say, cash me out if you're going to ask me out. Huh. They so, cash me out. I see the little white girl. They said that she made like 50 M's. 50 I'm, million I'm dollars. Only fans. Huh? Yeah, and the uh, cold bar body. She young, dude. Look, whoever look looking at her. That's no, no, no. The cold bar body. She, 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 she didn't get naked. Fuck. Really? She didn't get naked. She that showed just shows her feet or some more shit that like that. Boy, the, the, yeah. the level of yeah. simping in America yeah. is all yeah. time. Rest in peace to Kevin Samuels. No. You read the thing? You read the thing? Yeah, it's already yeah. good. Now you late. Oh, 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 That's the piece to Kevin Samuels. That's the piece to Kevin Samuels. Uh, I don't need it now. I got oh, that. Oh, okay. So. I should. Yeah. Have a we got, uh, hold on. First, we got a uh, shout out to them uh, motherfucking dubs. Yeah, last yeah, night. yeah, yeah, yeah. We got, we got, we got to start off with that. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I, 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 it was hairy for a minute. I didn't know they was going to do it. Did they thing. Yeah. Went out there and won it on, on the parquet floor. That's right. Shout out to that the Dubs. Right there. That was only the second, only time second in team in history. A team closed it out in Boston. Mm. It's hard to beat beat Boston. In no Boston, Boston. Right. In Boston. Right. right. I ain't going to lie, though, man. At the beginning of the playoffs, mm-hmm. I was I was thinking to myself, if everything go right, I think they can do it. But I was like, maybe they could kind of come close this year and then next year, mm-hmm. you know. So when they rolled it all the way to the title, I got to say I was truly impressed by it. When that. I seen that game one, I was like, uh-oh, yeah. we in trouble. Yeah. yeah. She was tuning in tonight. Uh, hey, hey, what's happening? So. Oh, yeah. Blue moon. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, them dubs did their thing. And it's party in the bank. Mm-hmm. No. You know they uh, got to act ignorant last night, though. Uh, yeah, I heard someone lost their life at a, at a, at a, at a rest, sports bar last yeah, night. Rest, rest, rest in peace, rest to, the peace to the yeah, family. Yeah. That's, I, I wish we can get to a point to where we can get together, have fun, and really enjoy the ambiance and the excitement of where we at, having fun and just enjoying life. Yeah. Because life is just a fleeting moment. It can be gone in a hand's breath. You know today, what I'm saying? You know, the thing is, I've been to that particular venue many times, yeah. and uh, and the uh, I never got I never got that vibe. Right, right. Because I'm only, it's kind of more, you know, a um, 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 a mature, mature type, right. mature think, type vibe, and everybody seems to always have a good time. So uh, ignorance, you know. ignorance, and the, the sad part about it, I'm gonna be honest, you know, because I'm a, you know, I, I hang with certain in different spots sometimes, whatever. Mm-hmm. But it's just funny because ignorance finds itself, it seeps in. Right. It's like right. you can have a, it's like them tests when you put in the air, you test in the air seal room, mm-hmm. you put the blue dye. In and it just happens somewhere, to seep through somewhere, somewhere. It, through. and I, I implore y'all out there, please, man, just yeah. live life, have fun, man. Y'all out there, it's a bunch of women, it's a bunch of whatever. You smoke hey. a cigar, smoke a weed, yeah, whatever you're doing, doing, have fun, man. Yeah, All this mind. extraism yeah. y'all own is is oh, is violation. Right. It's just bad business because no, then on you turn around and. We can't have our clubs, our right. our kickbacks, our areas and fun places to hang out and chill. People claiming, oh, man, we can't have nothing. Gentrification. This is why we had gentrification, because you, you motherfuckers be fucking shit up for, yeah. you be fucking with the church's money, and I don't go to church. Because if the city, <laughs> because we all know that the city is always really punitive against venues that cater towards us right. when there's right. these type of, right. type of incidents. Right. So y'all allow them to y'all. We all know the plan is yeah. gentrification, yeah. Right. right? So when you go out to these type of places, that's what's gonna happen. 
But but one thing I'm gonna say though is that, uh, and I hate to say it in this manner because I wish we all could live in in peace and harmony, but I know that that's not realistic for some of us. But I will say that if it was that serious, you're gonna you would see them again. So if it was some spontaneous nigga moment, then wow, you just killed somebody, and if you get captured, threw away your life over something. Now if it's an ongoing beef. Nah. You could say to yourself, Rochambeau, that I'll shit. I'll catch you. Yeah. you I'll you catch know you somewhere else. It, it don't even stop there, though. You know First what I'm saying? First 2,000 you got, you, got you got the person Boy. that's dead. You got the person that committed it mm. going to jail. But then you got the kids. Man. Right. The you got their family. Yeah. You got, you they got to grow up. Yeah. And believe me, they're going to develop yeah. some type of trauma, trauma that's going to develop and end up. And you got the people who was there. In later yeah. life. And they're gonna end up repeating the same cycle. Yes. You got the you got the people Very that was there to have to witness right, it. Right. Who just was came it's like, man, I just come to, to chill, right. watch have the a game, time. have a fun. And now Let I'm my hair done. down, stuff opening back up. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm trying to chill and live because we've been in a fucking pressure cooker for two years and now it's it's, it's it just sucks. You know what I'm saying? As a as a, as a uh Semi-educated black man, you know, I don't know everything, but I know half of something. Right, right. <laughs> and I mean, I ain't going to lie. I know it's just disappointing. Yeah. Right. You know, it's just like disappointing. guy, but, you know, I've been in the trenches together all my life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But even to this day, at the big age that I am, I still always struggle to be like, why was it so serious that you had to kill that man? Right. Sure. I mean, don't get me wrong. I understand when cats is battling over turf, battling yeah. over certain things. I I don't I know do that, but I, I understand. But when right. we out there, right. like, when you out right. at right. parties or you out at things like that, and it ends in a shooting, and it wasn't some ongoing thing, I just I, mean? I just I've still never my whole entire life I've never here's, been able to grasp it. Here, here's Amen. the here's the grasp you because know? you said something. Even and this is just I you know same thing. I'm from the Dubs all day murders. But seen and done a lot. What's up, Amir? You know what I'm saying? Big C, what's up, bro, bro? Oh, hey, you. Vic, hey, Vic said he had his book. <laughs> oh, yeah, Vic for sure. Yeah, what's up, but, Vic? Hey, my daughter, Kiara, uh, watching. Hey, says, um, but Big at Chris the end of the day, Big C, yeah. Oh, man, yeah. Shout, out to, shout out to Amir, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's my bro, bro. Oh, I got We finna have him back the, on. And congratulations look, on the new album about to drop. Yeah, yeah, yeah that we too. We on that. Hey, look, I seen his uh, documentary, right? Yeah, 25th Stories. And, and, and man, it, it, it touched me, man, because I don't know if he remembered, but I met that dude three times in my life. Uh-huh. I met him at every stage they talked about in uh-huh. that documentary. When he yeah. was a bully... When he was making his transition, like half bully, half righteous, and then when he was righteous, my man, yeah, that right. was a good that was, man. That's yeah. my good bro, Dub Love yeah, all day. That's a good dude. That's what we do. Yeah. I remember um, that first next to Ken album dropped. Yeah, and then like he was saying, I seen your Facebook post where it was like. Y'all didn't get to properly push it due to the, the other circumstances. circumstances. Yeah. So it's, it's unfinished business. So it's good to see y'all able to ready be hey. able to come and. And you already know. We, you back here when when you're ready. You, it's all good. You already know. It's all good. And you messaged me about coming on to your thing. Me and Farrell, I hit you back. It's good. Let us know. It's good. I'm there. But I did something that we don't normally do. Cause we went in there talking about something and we didn't let everybody introduce themselves. Oh shit! Oh. So I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, <laughs> real quick. You know what I'm saying? Get back on protocol, cause you know what I'm saying. You gotta do, we gotta do, we gotta do this righteous. Yeah. So I'm gonna let everybody introduce themselves and tell you they social media. You already know who I am. I am that step kid. <laughs> nah. What the boy Jason Taylor I'm, I'm him. I'm him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. For, all right, Mir, it's good. Uh, it's good. You want us on there with Zoe? I'm with it. Let's yeah. holler. I'm with it. You know me. I network. On. I'm 100% with that. That'd I'm going to start with it. Yeah, I'll, I'll be a blessing. I'm with it all day. It's, it's all it's all G. It's all C's abortion. You know? Yeah. I'm with it. Hey, what's up? It's your boy, Farrell, man. You know, Farrell Films. You know, y'all can catch me, man, all across the board at that, man. Writing, cracking a joke, just trying to, just, just a dude with a story to tell. 
That's right. And our esteemed guest tonight, my good brother. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give this brother some accolades before you even go. I'm going to let you introduce yourself, but I'm going to keep it a buck because, you know what I'm saying, that's my good brother. You know what I'm saying? I mean that to the heart and all good. Jeez, left breast of Biff. Uh, this man is a good brother, solid dude. I call him Big Swole. Excellent. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's an author. He's a good brother, a family man, a businessman, and he's out here to uh, spread the ism. That's right. You That's know what right. I'm saying? And because he told him I rotate the cuff. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna talk about that story. What? <laughs> what? And I was watching one of his bench press videos. Oh, you tried to, you tried to, and I got, I got tried jealous to, and I got motivated. And, and I was like, man, I used to throw up some iron in my day, man. What do you want? So I go in there, yeah, I can do it. thinking I can do what I used to do, and I've been suffering for about. About that year now. That's your own you fault. Know what? Hey, hey, man, you hey leave it to though. the professionals. Sometimes motivation. <laughs> leave it to the professionals. I'm going to let my good brother introduce himself, but this is a uh, good brother right here tonight. He's been on the show before promoting his book, yeah. and he's always welcome here. This is my good brother. Like hey, I said, I'm going to tell him. How you doing, Ms. Gibson? Yeah, uh, my name is uh, Arthur Robert Thurston Haggis Jr. Uh, I'm a North Oakland representative, short shattered by way of Bush Ride High, Ho or Die. Um, so you know what I'm saying for sure. And uh, tonight I'm gonna talk about my second book, um, The Incredible Life of Willie Sharp, Act Two, Saved by John the Pope. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of you are familiar with the first book, uh, um, The Incredible Life of Willie Sharp. We're gonna touch on that, break that down a little bit, and I'm gonna give you a little sprinkling, a little inkling of what the next book is gonna be about. And hopefully you guys can come out and support a brother again, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I would like to be on all them shows too, Amir, you know what I'm saying, brother? Hey, you know, I, I'm available too, you know? And so, uh, yeah, we're going we gonna, we gonna to get into it tonight, man. That's and I'm going to talk a whole bunch of shit about a whole bunch of other shit too. Isms. Yeah, yeah. Hey, y'all yeah. better have your ism radar out tonight because it's <laughs> dropping tonight. Yeah, we own for it. Real. You know what I'm saying? So... Oh, Vic said somebody's scared to hit the gym with him. <laughs> Man, I don't know. He's talking about Farrell. <laughs> Vic, oh, I'm an athletic uh, supporter. I'll hey, show up. Hey, Vic don't want it. He don't want it. He don't right. want it. It's been a lot of people try hitting me up. Oh, Rob, we didn't do this. We didn't do that. It's big swole. I, you and between you and Vic, I can't fuck with you. I can't fuck with y'all. Y'all gonna get mad at me because y'all call all that, I, I all that white my lane. press. I'm, I'm fluffy. Strip it off and do my reps. I'm fluffy and that's cool. You know what I'm saying? My heart rate good. My my cholesterol is good both ways. That's what it's all I don't about. I no man. ailments. That's what it's all about. I'm gonna get some yeah. of the fluffy off, but I y'all in that hold up. Hey, <laughs> remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm trying to. I'm trying I, to actually get back I've up to never been a gym rat. Right. You know what I'm saying? I play basketball right in now. The gym I'm about five, I'll shoot your lights out. Five fifty-five. I mean four fifty-five. My bad. Uh, four fifty-five. Yeah, Damn, yeah, man, it's yeah. man puny over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I try to put 455 on the board, you better have two good spotters. Because they ain't going to be living 455. In high school. In fact, I thought about I was going to play a superhero in this one movie, and I was going to have you come in to be the stunt double. Yeah, like yeah, yeah okay. Like with the drop, <laughs> but then have you rapping it. <laughs> Weight room. Hey, hey, I'll do that shit. That'd be leg cool. press, do a seven, eight hundred. I used to do that back in the high school, but I'm okay. not a gym cat. Hey, that's yeah. never numbers. Hell yeah. yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Now with legs, I, I, I don't know what I could do now. Yeah. I'll run you though if you're shooting at me, and the people who with me gonna hit you. Yeah, I, 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 I can't run too fast. You know what I'm saying? That's what they I never seen a big nigga run so fast. Yeah. But 30 right. years ago, when we was yeah. outside the club in uh, yeah. Bakersfield. <laughs> hey, he hey, that man hey. moved pretty swift. Hey, man, hey, man, hey. We out. Yeah, that, that's, no, that's a hell of a story, man. Somebody yeah. said they not going to go on because it's all Crips. Well, guess what? Crips kill Crips. And it, what set of Crips came through? Was yada, yada, yada. No, nah, it was one dude. <laughs> I, I, everything else was cool. We was ducking, you know, they shooting. This one fool, I'm in the car. He's in a truck Damn. right here. His <laughs> window is right a here. Disclaimer, we don't know nothing about what you're talking about. No, I, 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 I don't know what it is. looked like, and I don't I don't know his don't name. Know nothing. Right. But he rolled down his window like this. And we were out. And all I seen was the pistol come out. He didn't <laughs> look. He wasn't <laughs> looking. He did, oh, he, he wanted him? This. He did this. We talking about real black, drive black, by. Black, 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 black. Oh, I said, yeah. man, he ain't even looking. He just shooting down the street. You got at least aim at your target, man. I said, look, man, I did four get me the hell out of here. I was, <laughs> I don't belong down here. We were, <laughs> I just hey, say this. Was, uh, 
Tyson versus Holyfield. Holyfield. Man, listen. In a house full of Crips. And I'm blood, 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 blood. And they start getting quieter and quieter and quieter and quieter. And the dude who I was cool with, I kept tapping and talking to, I said, yeah, blood. He was like this. Not knowing that's how we lingo out here. OG Rob behind me. I can feel OG Rob behind his eyes. He was staring at me. I'm like, oh man, I gotta watch this. You know, I know about the out here. You we know, get down with this. The dude who owned the house we was at, mm-hmm. he got killed in that same parking lot. Uh, that man. Okay. Well, Him and one other cast that was there, they got killed in that man, same parking lot. That's terrible, man. That's that's terrible, rest in peace to Big Wheel, my OG Red Partner. Yeah, man, that's terrible. Rest in peace. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. We got to stop all the madness, man. We got to stop all the madness. I've always been a happy I'm gonna give you an ism real quick. I know you, you one of the Godfathers of ism, but I'm going to give y'all ism real quick. Man, thank you. I, I appreciate that. You hear that, baby? I, 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 I give props as props as do, man. I, yeah, I, yeah, that's what I well, do. You know, we, we sit back yeah. and have conversations. That's right. You know what I'm saying? We bounce shit off each other. You know that's what I'm right. saying? That's we like right. mirrors. Bing, yeah. bing, bing. The yeah. light go bing, bing, bing. Yeah. Y'all will get that at three in the morning. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but y'all out here, you know, we, I'm going to say we. I ain't going to exclude, I'm not going to exclude myself because when you, you go, I, I ain't pointing no fingers. Same thing with what we was talking about earlier, the the shit with the uh, the last night, you know, at the little sports bar. Man, y'all need to really just uh, put y'all heads together and stop being on some bullshit, right. because y'all in the y'all in the matrix, y'all in y'all right. in the pinball machine, and you don't realize it, and y'all fighting over crumbs and bullshit and ego. Right. Ego is itself. It's a chakra that. A lot of y'all gravitate to and give too much attention to. Right. It's seven chakras, according to one context. But if once you really learn some shit, it's more. But you, I ain't gonna go on that because you'll get that at three in the morning. Uh, but seriously though, just some real ism though. Y'all need to just really fall back on some shit and realize what's going on because you're getting boxed in. Right. Boxed in. Boxed in, and I ain't talking and about, about the box shelf. That's the, yeah. that's, the, that's the problem. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, and I ain't talking about no box shelf with no twelves, like gorillas in the back in the trunk. I mean, look at what's going on in the world right now. You got the gas going up, but everybody want to have a foreign. Everybody want to have all these high power vehicles doing all this, and at the same time, you got all these meat plants and food processing places right. going up right. in flames, and, and all ain't this. nobody even talking about. You right. know what I'm saying? I'm, right. I'm really giving y'all some ism right now. You know right. what I'm saying? You know, I drop gems every now and then. I'm right. with the shit. The hidden hand is not so hidden. Man, right. 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 The Wizard of Oz, the motherfuckers gave you the ism a long time ago. You just paid attention. Yeah, yeah. I'm just telling you what's going on, and it's facts. It's not my opinion. It's facts. But at with everything going on, we all worried about who this person dealing with. And oh, these celebrities is is separated now, and she got a new boyfriend, and he said this, this, and right. this celebrity that, and that, and that. Man, y'all better fucking wake the fuck up. That's right. That's right. It's Don't a lot going on. Opiate. I'm trying to. It's tell a you. lot going yeah. on. Your attention span is being ridiculed and minimized at an all time high. You're right. being reduced to the mindset of a toddler. You know, I'm gonna that's, give it that's, to you that's, again. That's the, that's the young, that's your the young mental generation. is being reduced to the mindset of a toddler. Mm-hmm. Your attention span, or like a goldfish, you know. What I'm saying? Exactly, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? a goldfish. All yeah. you do is sprinkle crumbs, and they come in. Mm-hmm. That's it. But speaking of as uh, the aforementioned individual Caesar Borgia, mm-hmm. from the do? days of the Caesars, part of the reason why they had the gladiators and stuff right. like that was right. to entertain and right. to appease right. the crowd. Like if there was right. a famine, if there was a drought, if give things them were going bad, that shit. they would give come out years. and have, and so the modern day form of that, since we're most civilized now, people don't fight to the death necessarily. <laughs> but the, but the, just the, do it in a different way. But the celebrities, <laughs> the ball games, the right. uh, what's going on with uh, Kim Kardashian's love life, all that, is the same Who effect. It's an, opiate. She ain't my it's an opiate Johnson. for the masses. It's something to she ain't doing nothing to distract me. y'all while they literally I care stand up. She do. They telling you that they uh, all them celebrities that prices are going up, right? Because of this that factor. But then they also making record profits. So that means that that's right, Lord that Johnson. That they are really mm-hmm. exploiting it, and it's happening. Any place else, you would think people would be rioting in the streets, right? Yeah. Because you know. 
gas, no inflation, you know what I'm saying? But instead, we like, oh, what can we do? Right. What can you do? You right. can, man, riot. Yeah. Do something. Yeah, I mean, they, that, but I think that they got something for that. You know, they they, mm -hmm. they, they, they trying to create a situation where people are going to start to riot, and then they can come on in <laughs> Thank there. Thank you. And, and yeah. martial law oh, and all again, that. You're getting, um, you're getting but, minimalized. But what's going on right now with the people, we're kind of like frogs in that pot. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. heard yes. Yes. You put, just hey, if the water is boiling, you put the frog in, he going right. to hop out. But I'm going to put you in a cold pot, and, and I'm just, just turning. I'm going to keep gradually turning right. the heat up and yes. simmer. We're going we exactly. gonna to go to four. Exactly. We're going to go to six. Then we, uh, You know what I'm saying? By the time we have boiling, shit, it's you discombobulated. It's too late. It's too late. Joke's another, on you, another Jack. Thing, another thing, and I really wanted to touch on this, uh -huh. is this, uh, the whole thing about being online and this this self-gratification that people instant, are getting. Yeah, this, instant this, microwave. This, this, this mental masturbation that people are getting. Dang. Oh, my God. Thank online. you. But well, likes trigger dopamine. Exactly, exactly. Right. So what you have is a bunch of information that these young cats is, is putting out. Mm -hmm. They're getting from the older cats who really just trying to get their money. And they pushing this shit, and all of a sudden they get on these likes, and, oh, yeah, you right. Because I'm right. right. And that shit be wrong. Yeah. That, that information wrong. be hella wrong. Like, and I sit, and I try to, you know, I try to, you know, throw my little, you yeah, know, you you know to see where they at. They, man, they, they jump on me, Lost. you know what I'm saying? I'm like, God damn. Like, the truth is hated nowadays. That's real and shit. the real is persecuted. Right. Because. Right. But you got some cats with some very loud, like, not to necessarily single him out, but he's on my mind at the moment. Mm -hmm. Like, you got a cat like a whack 100, mm -hmm. who's supposed to be mm -hmm. this OG. But all I see is division and, and mess, and he's got a, actually a I'm, massive platform. Right. And I'm like, come on, OG. Right. I'm not so, even going to touch on that so, because. But I mean, I'll touch on it. I'll touch on it because because I'm what, it is, what it is what it is is I understand, I understand I understand what he's trying I'll to stay do. Stay out of all that. But you got to understand that absolute power corrupts absolute. Yes. Your 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 mission you that you're starting out Lord. with can 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 get twisted and turned, and next thing you know, you're getting all these accolades and all. And once again, the dopamine thing. Right. And all of a sudden, now you just doing it, and you don't care what you say, who you or hurt. Or you could be an agent. And before, and and, that's and, your mission from the beginning. You could, you could be an agent. But what, from what I'm hearing, it's all about the money. The dude, he, he, he's getting I'm, money. It's about the money. But I think he's overextending you himself. Moral, you got to refuse to speak on him. Yeah, but that, the moral compass is being slayed by the money. People but at a certain point, your yeah. morality needs yeah. to kick in and be like, right. man, people could really... Be heard or damaged behind what I'm saying. I'm not going to say that. Right, right. I don't, man, that wouldn't. Man, that's 20 years ago. Ain't nobody doing that no more. I don't promote I mean, I still got man, level that type of shit. That man, they man got listen, going there's certain on. things I'm just not finna do. There's certain I'm, things I'm just not finna say. Right. However, I ain't never had you know a 20 million dollar deal on the table. You know, what I'm, I'm saying? I got a it's question. Like, Keisha, <laughs> Keisha, <laughs> Keisha, Keisha asked me why I refuse to speak on WAC 100, and this is the thing. I'm going to tell you like this. That's his cousin. No. I'm on the other you already you already know where I'm at. His you, you his family ties with this shit. But I'ma just say this. I don't promote foolery from my eyes. I, shit where people sit here and you got this group going against this group and whatever. That's not my lane. I don't promote that shit. Really though, I'm a different type of dude. I don't need the click likes for all that, you know, rhetoric shit. So that's why I be like, when it come to dude and what he got going on against Ken folk and what's not, mm -hmm. I don't speak on it because one, it ain't my lane, mm -hmm. it ain't my business, and I don't promote us against us. I don't, and that's really it, and that's a hundred. Right. But I, that's why I refuse to speak on because I have an opinion about it, but my opinion on it is without. The inner circle. So my opinion, I'm just keeping it a buck with you. My opinion in the greater scope of what's going on with this shit with them, it don't matter because I don't have all the facts and I don't speak on a lot of shit if I don't have all the facts. Because right. I'm just, like I said, I'm a, just a different type of dude and that ain't my lane. Right. With I don't do the fuck shit, the whatever. Who's promoting? Who's the rat? Who's the this? Right. I I I my circle was is is a different level. 
And well, I'm gonna just say I'm that will, I'm willing to speak on it because Me too. I, I, because I look at myself as I don't need as, the clickbait. I look, I look at myself as kind of a guardian of a lot of it's a lot of young individuals right. that I'm a guardian. So if I was out on, if I was out on the block and somebody was supposed to be an OG and he was pumping the youngsters up. With some dumb shit, in the wrong way, I would right. be like, "Hey, hold on, blood, hold on, yeah, hold yeah, on." Yeah. I would give them, I would give them a counteract. Now, the particular things like who's a rat, all that type of stuff, I'm not gonna speak on because, like, I, I like, I, like, I, like I, like I, because I, I, like you said, I don't know the in and out some information. Shit. But there are certain things do. in general I can speak on, and I see a lot of division and negativity coming from a man with a very large platform, and so I am gonna say. Hey, what I'm seeing from dude ain't cool. Just like this other right. dude, Charleston White. At first, oh, when I first man, got introduced to his videos, God. I was like, okay, this is a cat from the trenches. That's how he's speaking. That shit in, by fact, the dude, thought, in fact, I thought he was a similar cat to myself that was calling out wrongdoing. Uh-huh. But then I see the antics and the theatrics right. from there, and I'll be like, agenda, okay, he, dude ain't cool. He is the prime example of, what I, of, of what I'm talking about. Yeah, right. He, he when cool. he first started out, I understood what he was doing. Okay, he's he's trying to. I thought I did. I, yeah, mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, let me put it that way. I thought I knew what he was doing. He's trying right. to to show the youngsters that hey, what they doing over there that ain't that ain't shit. I, I'm tougher I than them, or that. I'm I'm smarter than them. But then it started to turn into this perverse, like he's a he's a clown now. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And so it's like I feel bad that I have a what happens here when you get that fame and you get that money, them checks you get start the coming. Attention. Man, you get, that shit is a drug in itself. Here's the thing, exactly. You get the attention from what, Elijah Muhammad that you didn't Malcolm? get. That's you right. get because right. exactly as right. as a dude, yeah, that's, you that's, get that's you start that's getting that's right. yeah. drinks from the bar from chicks that was out your league, right? Or that that you didn't have the confidence, right? In your in your shell of a self, right? Once you start getting the oh oh, man, wait a minute, I was I was the right. you know what I'm saying, right? I was this tier. But now, I got, and I always wanted the females at this gym, and I'm I'm being basic bottom with this with my saying because a lot of people think basic bottom with the root chakra. So I'm gonna start there with y'all. Okay, I see what you're trying to do, man. We go, we go dive into it. We go. They gonna get this at three in the morning. I'm gonna give it to you. I drop ism. It's the reason I do everything I do. My steps is always calculated, yeah, yeah. and my words, even when they come free form, but believe me. There's a filter process that goes through, and sometimes I have no filter. I have no filter, but sometimes I have to. I Put can't give you too much yeah, because yeah. I say some shit, and I want you to catch what I'm saying. Right. Never drop a flower flower pot on the head of the people. That's what my uncle Bob used to tell me. Exactly. Yeah. Too See, much that's that ism for nobody. That's that ism. Yeah. Now I will say, like, for all clarity, I was just having this conversation with my good brothers when I used to be in the music business, and at one point we had a. I thought you was my bad. I thought we had a million dollar situation. And then when it fell apart, me and him was reminiscing, like, man, we kind of wish that would have went through. Mm. And I had to tell him, I'm actually thankful now that it didn't go through. Because if I would have got that type of paper. At that age? At that oh. age. Now, mentally well, not ready? just that God. age. That mental capacity you was at? Level, I said, I would have, dis- all the things I have now, family, this and that. I would I would have literally. You fucked it up. I would have literally destroyed myself. Right. I can, I can, you know I what I'm saying? Like so, so I can understand right. the concept of. A cat can come in with the good intentions, right? And then when the when you get the money, the power, the chicks you out your this, league, mm-hmm. this and that, you get the, that attention, them them dopamines, and that that right. that that you start feeling that yeah. this is what I was entitled to. These right, the right, chicks right. that should have been know, on that, me. Yeah, that's These yeah, the yeah, yeah. and you get that. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying I've always been the most popular dude, but I ain't never been the most boring dude. I've right. I've been I'm a seesaw. I've been cool. It's people that. I'm, I'm me, yeah. and always have been. But I do recognize the difference in different things because I didn't always have everything, right? But I always had something, right? And some people, when like you said, you get the attention. Some people ain't had. You shit. get the notoriety. You know what you I'm get saying? The, you get you start, you, start coming up. You, get, you start you start being able to say, "I ain't living check to check. I'm living like to like." And you'll get that Ooh. at three in the morning. Ooh. That was me. Mm. Did I hit him with it? Mm. You start living like yeah. to like, you'll get that at three in the morning. Yeah. Because, and not to shade him, but I'm going to just say, the OnlyFans has created a whole different lane. Like to like. Yeah. Mm, they paying for likes. 
And then you, what you do, you got people that take advantage of that. Oh, get your followers up by this organization and do this, this, this to get your lights right. up, to right. get the blue check. Because now you living for the attention. Right. And see, I'm a, with the isms, and I'll be a Mac before I ever be a pimp because a pimp will sell his ass. And I'm going to just tell you something. <laughs> oh, damn, you're going to get this shit at 3 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, see, all right, I mean, my pregame was on. I don't know about Pimp selling their ass and all that. At the same time, at the same time, I mean, I if it's AO, I mean, if it's AOB, man, and it's really I'm AOB, man, saying, man, you know, yeah, it's not a lane. It's not a lane I've ever been in, and nothing that I really respect as a man because I got now, a daughter and I got a mother. Mm-hmm. So I'm just little, saying. Little still alive, right? No, little died. Little, uh, little died from kidney cancer. Okay. Man, okay. Rest but, in peace. but I remember pimps when I was a kid. They used to just say, "Man, I'm full." We King looked up to him. Plus a punk in the trunk. You know. We I looked remember up that to him. Yeah. Uh, I can remember that saying. Like I said, <laughs> oh, I remember. <laughs> We looked you know. up to them. They had the flashy cars. Okay. They had the conversation. And don't get me wrong. I got the ism conversation running nation. Right. Procrastination is a violation. Get your ass evicted if you ain't talking business. Right, right. right but now, right. in fairness, to, to piggyback off what you said, though, is that I know from my own experience that if things were lined up the way they were supposed to line the way I thought they were going to line up, you would have fumbled. I, not only would I have fumbled, yeah. I probably would have took myself out of here. I definitely would have destroyed. <laughs> You'd have been out of character. I would have destroyed my family. I would have destroyed. Right. Because, you know, I already had self destructive tendencies. Right. Now, if you we, all, a, we all did. Right. Now, if you put a million dollars behind me and everybody kissing my ass, mm-hmm. right, good Lord, my self destructive tendencies would have been on steroids. Right. Mm-hmm. But right. in defense, though, of myself, cats like Wack and Charleston White is significantly older. Than what I was, right. so I can say that but, at but this you know age and this stage that I got now, if the million do come and everybody's kissing my ass, I know it's false, and, and I know here. that I got to conduct but listen, myself on a certain just, level. Just because they're older, don't mean that they have. Uh, uh, I know some old that ass they, that they had shit. I mean, they probably just I some I mean, old ass. Yeah, he, was, he was he we got the role with Suge long time ago and all that shit. Mm-hmm. That don't mean he had nothing. Right. You know I, what I'm saying, Charleston White. Don't I, look like he really had nothing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Even through the trenches. Through, through the shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So he's and just. That's why now, I was feeling him. I thought he was right. an OG that's right. here to save the youngsters, you right. know? And right. So he's dead. just now getting to it. And you can kind of just, if you really just pay attention and look at him, right. you can see how he's how he's elevating damn near to a, to a fucking cliff. And he's getting ready to jump up off of it. And you let, know what I'm saying? Let this be a word to you, brothers Shut out there that's striving in the game right now. Right. Make Please. sure that. Make sure that you have a circle of accountability. Right. Make sure you got a circle of a solid brothers around. Mm-hmm. Because if I did get a hold to a million and got out here and get to acting a fool, Somebody I got certain should, cash I'm that's going to say, I'm going to be, be, like, hey, be like, right. come on, P, you're doing too yeah, much. Yeah. Hey, P, don't do that. Or, hey, yeah. come on, P, man, watch yourself. Hey, right. P, don't lose sight. Right. So if, if you don't got that circle... If right. everybody agree with you 100% of the time, you're That's in a the bad wrong thing. circle. That's a bad and thing. Even, and here's the thing about it. Your vision of what you talk about may be right, but right. there's nothing wrong with having somebody that says, hey, wait a minute. It don't mean they hate them. It just right. means they right. see something right. differently. And, and where we fuck up at <laughs> is Say that. we think that because you don't think how I think, your way of thinking is indifferent. No. Right. Right. That's some bullshit. Let me tell you something about a diamond. Oh, shit, here we go. Let's you get ready to, Come on. Let's Hold on. Let me tell you something about a drink. Come on. Diamond. Yeah. It has multicolors. Talk you know, when you get that prism, and prism is is subjugated to what? Ism. That's right. That's the pre-ism. Pre-ism. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Hello, somebody. I don't go to church, but I know what they be saying in there. Cause mm-hmm. I got lied to as a kid, too. But hey, man. <laughs> here we go. You may see three colors in that diamond. You may see five colors. Mm-hmm. I can see two colors. She may see 14 colors. Who wrong? None of us. None of us. Well, all right. right. It just depends on how we look at That's right. Our perspective. 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 That's right. 
And that leads me to the books. Let's go. <laughs> right, That's what on. we're here for. Let's come talk on, about man. it. Because right. we the ramble, so, let's get into the ism. So um, I want to start with the first book. Um, um, a lot of people, want, first of all, I want to thank everybody, everybody who bought a book, everybody who, uh, who, uh, who I gave a book and who read it and who got back at me and told me how good it was and, and, and the insights that they, they got from it. Um, so I'm going to give you a little bit more about the first book. Going to. Um, so, everybody's like, well, in the first book, it's called The Incredible Life of Willie Sharp. Yes. But the star is a, is a cat named Raheem, mm-hmm. right? The reason why it's done like that is because what Willie Sharp really re- uh, represents is the, 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 the God thought. The thought that when, the thought that comes to you in your subconscious mind and helps you recalibrate your thinking. We all we all operate from our subconscious mind, whether we know it or not. Right. When we're little, we're we're programmed, yeah. right? And all those programs get stuck right there in the subconscious mind, and you act them out as you grow up, Dang. right? So everything that you 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 see in, in your life uh-huh. is just a, a reflection of the program, right? So if something tragic happens to you as a kid, you, feel it. you live you feel it. from that tragedy, yes. right? The cold part about it is there is a way for you to actually go back mm-hmm. to that point in time, yes. right? Because you understand time. There is no there, time. There, 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 is no, there is no back there or forward. It's all right now. Thank so you. your memory, you can go back to it and you can change the view on it, right? And that'll change what you're feeling right now. It'll actually Thank change. If you, you can change the past, it'll change your now, it'll change your future. You know what I'm saying? You know what's heavy about that. this, what you're they saying, is that, that they got a science that they, the white folks are going to call it neurolingual programming, NLP. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah, go yeah, back yeah, and you reprogram your memories. That's right. Because if you reprogram your memories, then you reprogram your response to stimuli right. so, and situations. Yeah. So, so let me interject that right now. Yeah, I'm, yeah. A certified, I'm a certified Cert- NLP Cert- practitioner. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I knew it was yeah. some science. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The issue yeah, was real yeah. or not? Like everybody else was doing that other shit. I was. That's just what I was doing. Okay. You know what I'm yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think you knew that. I- no, actually, I didn't. Oh, okay, I mean, okay. but what you were saying had reminded me of that. Right. So, Let's get so, into the ism. so, all of us, all of us, we all reprogrammable. You know yes. what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So you can basically have oh, whatever gosh. you want. My grandmother used to say, my grandmother Eloise Oliver, told me. That she could tell what a person is thinking by what's going on in their life, and I thought that was fascinating. Like, what do you mean? Like, what? well, because everything comes from here. Everything comes from here. You know what I'm saying? Well, what you think is gonna come out. So all you gotta do is sit back. You wanna know something about somebody? You wanna know if they they full of shit or if they real? Look what's going on in their life. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. I hear what you're saying, mm-hmm. but what's showing up in your life ain't matching. So we know some something's off, right? So you can go into your own mind through meditation, mm-hmm. through you can even do it through prayer, you know what I'm saying, for the for the for the Baptist in the house. You know what I'm saying? You can do it through prayer, but you can go into your own you can go into your mind through meditation and you can literally reprogram your subconscious mind. You can take out things and you can put it in. Yeah. And they they're gonna they're gonna instantly show up in your life. Really? You know what I'm saying? And that's what that's that's what that's these the books power is of about. The universe. Yes, right. That's what these books is really about. I just I just put it into a story. But be yeah, careful. Oh yeah. Oh we. Because what you ask. Because what you ask. Ooh, what, we. what you ask. Listen. Because sometimes I go on YouTube and I watch uh, the Reverend Ike videos and stuff oh, like man. that. Mm-hmm. I like that. Dude. And he. And one of the things is is that when you ask for mm-hmm. it, you have to be prepared for it to come. Right. Yeah. Right. So you can't frivolously. You can't say, I want ask. this. Right. Or I want that. You, you can't ask for insight. And yeah. not be prepared right. to deal exactly. with insight. So because you got to move with yeah. intention. Yeah, yeah. Because what happens is, what happens is another slogan I got from my grandmother is God never says no, right? And at first I was like, well, right. that 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 can't really be true. But then as true. I as I as I studied on it, as I really got into what she was she saying, don't say no. So you get everything you ever asked for, but but if you're not focused on it when it comes. You, you'll, you'll, it'll go right past you. You won't know that you it can't. Recognize it. You, you won't recognize it. And sometimes it shows up not exactly how you envisioned it, and so you're thinking it's not what it is. But that's the opportunity. That's the doorway that'll lead you to mm-hmm. where you need to be. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So God never says no. You know what I'm saying? When I when I was a perfect example, 
Pharaoh know. I used to want I wanted to be a rapper. I wanted, you know what I'm saying? I, I mean, I used to I used to eat, sleep, drink, rap. I'm gonna be a rapper. I'm gonna make my own beats and all that and everything. And I, I mean every single day. And you surrounded by him now. Here and that's the cold part. So but tell it. So here I am. Shout out to the Mac. Mac Sean one. Mac Sean one hundred. He takes me on the road with sideways, this way, that way. Yeah, because I'm in Louisiana with the family. That's right, that's right. So I end up on stage, and that's when it hit me. I'm in the, I mean, I'm on stage. Snoop is right there, and I'm standing here, and I'm like, yeah, yeah. This is what I asked for. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not rapping. It's not my beats, but I still made it because God never says no. You know what I'm saying? I got there. I the way I got there was through lifting weights. Because I was big, it's like, okay, Rob, you on security. For sure, let's go. You know what I'm saying? So I still made it to where I wanted to be, but it had nothing to do with how I was trying to do it. You know what I'm saying? Because I had gave up. I'm like, Man, I ain't going. I ain't no motherfucking rapper. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? But my, my belief that I was going to be there was so strong that it showed up in my life. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? That that right. leads me to another thing. I'm gonna start rapping again. No, I'm just boys. Right, I'm <laughs> coming out and it's probably gonna do better than Drake's album. <laughs> oh my god, you hear yeah, that trash? We, 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 uh, don't call it trash. What's wrong with that nigga? He's on his vision. It's just a house him. it's a house album. Here's the so thing. Oh, house we music. got it. Well well it's, so so here's the thing about that. That's just, right? This is this, this is something I, like I just, the show, I I just found out. I didn't know that house music, mm -hmm. you know, started with black people. I didn't know that. Yeah, in the nineties. Yeah, yeah, I did I even before then. Dude, I can. I, did, I didn't know that. Because once again, hip hop, rapping, shows, did it. Did I want? I had a vision of being. Nah, I was. I was a local dude who had bars, and I still got them. But you know, it's just like this is what we do. Right. I, I, my thing was, I want to do some entertainment shit. You spoke on exactly the shit I be on, and be like, it comes to you. It may not be the way you actually wanted it to happen, but yeah. you'll get. You'll get the ism. You'll get the light. Right. The way that it's meant for you to have. It'll it's never. It'll never be the way you actually picture it to be right. in your mind, because in your mind you limit yourself. Right. So, your so what I was saying about the house music, yeah, you know, uh, he came out. So what it is is a, it's, it's a. So what they were explaining, the youngster was explaining to me. That's a. It's an EDM album. He tapping which into is, a different which market, a, which is an international thing. Right, he's tapping into a different market, and, but and local thing, niggas. But here, here's the thing: low vibrational niggas came. And, I've and heard think about that. some good house music. Yeah, I've heard some raw ass. I'm like, oh shit, this this, this is cool, mm -hmm. right? The shit I heard on, on that album, that's not it. Yeah. Here's the thing: you get you get the pregame like we was doing. You get the pregame because I'm just getting. Can I get you out of ism? Mm -hmm. This is just yeah, my mind yeah. thought. Can y'all go with me there for a second? Yeah, my answer is up. Because so. if if uh, if if I'm if I'm the quote unquote, because society labels who's the rawest, he's the man right now mm -hmm. as far as rap. Okay, okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Come on. Come on. It's but, arguable, but go ahead. I know it is, but I'm just I'm just giving you a a, a bowl of chicken noodle soup for the soul. If I'm the number one. And I give you, I've been consistent for 10 plus. Right. You know what I'm saying? You And y'all subconsciously compare everybody's shit to me. Right. Because I have been consistent and all my collabs are fire. I rarely put out a dud. Right. So you expect me to be every time. That's the pedestal y'all put me on. But listen, I'm, I'm, I'm going with it. Listen to me. You can get the story. So we take that aspect of it. Right. So I'm at a mental growth spurt of expansion that a lot of the lower vibrational motherfuckers that's in my fan base may not go to, but I have to be true to myself. Because as an artist... I don't give a fuck what you okay. got to be true. Huh? No, no, I, I you got to be true to yourself as an artist, right? Because if you only go for the likes, you might as well get an OnlyFans page. You'll get that at three in the morning. But, <laughs> but, but I, I, I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. The only if, thing, the only if thing, I drop this album because this is the genuine shit I really want to do. Okay, okay. But I know I'm like 
75% of the people that fuck with me going to have a bad reaction and say I fell off. But what does that generate? Clickbait. It keeps my name in the news because... Yeah. Yeah, and you know what they say. Yeah, yeah. All you know, press, press, is press is good press. Because really, I got some fire, and I just want y'all to give these lower tier artists, in my opinion, personally, if I was the dude who put out the whack album, some shine, and for y'all to go against me so I can Draymond Green y'all and wear that Boston shirt that says, oh, 18, and with the square and says, no, Warriors, maybe next year. I'm just saying. I well, think deeper well, than most. No, I'm just well, saying. Well, I, I think I, <laughs> I hear what you're saying, but yeah. it seems to me if if that was the case, he would have started out as an EDM artist. If that's what, who he really was, you evolve. But, there are no short neck giraffes. Yeah, but this album just not good. It's not. It's not a good EDM album. All right, I get that's you. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's, like it's he's playing around. With yeah, you. yeah. It's, it's not a good but, EDM because he's not immersed Here's the in. Thing. Right. Here's the thing. Psychologically, because this is the is. Oh, before you say that, go ahead. A, a, a good EDM would be uh, what's the guy around the world, around the world, them dudes. Okay. You put that on. I don't care what you put that on. Now. You can put that on at down at uh, Jimmy Sweet Jimmy. I said Sweet Jimmy. I mean, right. down at that club and people gonna dance to it. It's a good song. It's good. It's good EDM. Okay. This is not good EDM. I, I I'm with you. But I'm just thinking outside the box with this, so I'm just being devil's advocate. Y'all know that. I don't think he can make a good EDM album due I, to the fact that he's not here's the thing. in it. If right. you're if you're already been secured in society's vault of you are Mr. It right now, and you say, I'm going to go conquer this shit over here. I can drop yeah. some shit and everybody going to buy it because why? And everybody listen to it. Everybody, here's the thing, because this is ism, because this goes into this, everybody listened to it and they had an opinion of it, mm -hmm. whether right, whether for or against. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say right or wrong, because there's no such thing as a wrong opinion. Right. Your opinion is really no your opinion. opinion. Right, right, right. I don't have to agree with it, but it's not saying that your opinion is wrong. Right. You can be for or against this album, but everybody's talking about it. And what does that equal? Uh, that's true. Clickbait likes. That's true. So he won. Even if this was a once again a cerebral test of your cortex and your your <laughs> vernacular and your ability to understand subject and predicate. Oh my god, I'm giving you some shit right now, and I hope y'all get it. Everybody that's hating and doing too much, you failed the test. <laughs> I'm gonna just say that. I, I, I feel the test did, because I'm I, hating on that. I, I, I didn't listen to the album. I, I, no, actually, I didn't listen to the whole album. I listened to part of it, and I was like, okay. But listen. I removed myself from a listen to music person and just like, wait a minute. Because the, the ism Here's the thing. Is, is, is paramount. Here's the thing. I was excited to listen to that album. I couldn't mm -hmm. wait to put it on. Because that's why I had you. He's I like, keep y'all at your heartstrings. Look, look that's to the, the point of what I'm saying. I, I, push, I push play on the first song. I'm well, like, now you miss Drake's I'm, album. I'm like, okay, all right. That, uh, I mean, okay, maybe that's just the, you know, warming mm -hmm. up. Then the second one came, I'm like, mm -hmm. oh my God, Peace what's going on? Then the third one, I'm like, man, what the fuck? Then the fourth mm -hmm. one, I said, nah, I'm cool. This ain't for me. Right. You know what I'm saying? This just ain't for me. Right. You know. Um, Every click means what? Some type, of, some type of revenue. Cha -ching. That's right. That's true. When you get, and this is all I'm going to say, and we can, we're going to go back to the books. what we here for. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jack yeah, no, no, hold on. Hold on. Let me just, <laughs> this goes to my point of you get to a level with ism, and I plead, I swear to God, I hope y'all get this shit. <laughs> I hope y'all do, because I be really be trying to just give it to you, because if I give it to you too much, I'm an asshole. My wife called me an asshole. I am an asshole. But it is what it is. But when you get to a level and it's like I can put whatever out and I'm not calling y'all simpletons. <laughs> I'm not. Because I respect you I'm enough. Just, I'm right. just saying. He's wild. He's a wild dude. I'm keeping it a buck. <laughs> right. That's the problem with the world. Nobody tells you the truth. Everybody lives in a world of yes men. Right. I'm not a yes man. That's true. Am I the man? Yes. It's a difference. 
I'm just saying. <laughs> if if I can if I get to the to the to the level of I can put out anything and whether they talk good about it or they talk bad about it, I am in the news. I am a meme. I am trending. And that's what I mean when you motherfuckers trade your soul for likes. But anyway, let's get back to this book that is all right. What the, all right. we talking about yeah. the real that good was deep, shit? Though. That was deep. I, I, you know, you know me. Yeah. I try to go there every yeah. now and then, yeah. give them a little bit. Uh, so um, where was I? So with the first book, you know, mm-hmm. that's that what you that's what you get. You get the study of the. It's a story um, that's uh, an allegory for the the subconscious mind and the con- and the conscious mind. You know what I'm saying? I put a bunch of um, uh, I put our language in it, like you know, what I'm saying the way we actually talk. You yeah. know what I'm saying, and a lot of people, um, uh, a lot of people who aren't from our culture, kind of didn't get it. You know what I mean? They were like, well, you know, that th- is that supposed to be? Yeah, well, it's supposed to be like that. You know what I'm saying? Because I come from a, because well, well, you have to understand that black people, we've always had to uh, uh, kind of. Disguise our intent. You see what I'm saying? So that's you know, black people have. We've actually created like three or four languages since we've been here. You, you know what I'm saying? English. You got. There, you got tut. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people don't know about tut. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And so you know, it, uh, pig Latin and all this type of stuff and stuff. And so um, back in the day, I forgot her name, man. And, and, and it's, it's a damn shame I don't remember her name. But she talked about Ebonics, right? Mm-hmm. And she wanted to make Ebonics an actual thing, an actual language, you know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. people, you know, people didn't realize that, you know, in school, black kids weren't necessarily, we weren't dumb. We just, it was, English wasn't the way we talk at home. And right. we had a certain particular way of talking, but it had particular syntax rules. It had grammatical talk rules. About it. it had all the structures of what would be considered a language. So right. instead of dinging us, and saying we're speaking incorrectly, right. you can recognize our culture and say, this is how we talk. Right. Just like in Poland, a person right. talks like that, or Native American right. languages that might not or, have a word or for Or Hispanic things. brothers. It right. was an actual right. language with structured rules, but a lot of our rules were you had to be immersed in the culture. Like exactly. when you get the, the white person at your job saying, you go girl, or... Or, right. or by Felicia and stuff, and they, they say it completely out of context right. because they can say the slang and the idiom, but they don't understand how to use it in context. Right. And we sitting there looking at them like, because yeah. our it don't language feel, it don't does, feel right. Our right. language yeah. does have a structure which right. makes it a language. Exactly, exactly. So I I put that language in my first book. Not so much in the second book, and I kind of regret that. However, um, the third book, I'm going to go back to that. Um, oh, so, the third book. Oh, yeah, I'm writing the third book already. Man, matter of fact, I'm writing the fourth book, too, already. You I already got at three in the morning. Yeah. You're yeah, right. I yeah, got something I'm, for you. I'm, and this is a question to you. Sure. Because this was, once we talked, even from the first book, I was going to ask, and, I was, and you told me you was working on more, and I was like, okay, I'm going to ask him. So I'm going to ask you heard that? I said I pronounced it correctly, phonetically for English. I just say ax. <laughs> like I'm chopping down the tree. I said ass. <laughs> you motherfuckers will get that at three in the morning. But <laughs> <laughs> is there and this is I'm 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 networking. Is there any thought possibility of you taking your yes. brilliance that you put on paper yes. and putting it on screen? Yes. Of that's, course it is. Okay. That's that's the ultimate goal. This, these books, what what you I know what? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. You know, I don't want to be, I don't want to sound too full of myself, but I'm gonna go on and say it. What 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 people are witnessing, mm-hmm. and I'm, I'm, you know what? Fuck it. What people Speaking. are witnessing are is is Harry Potter in the making. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? This is our Harry Potter I'm right here. To tell niggas. Before the end of before it's all said and done, these books will be movies, and it's gonna be it's gonna be ours. It's gonna be for us by us. And I'm telling Ooh, you, it, that, I'm telling you, exactly, exactly. But we ain't going out of business. Without the Shark Tank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. was, that, that's, that's the ultimate goal. I've spoken with some Shout high-ranking people. LL. I, <laughs> exactly. Mm-hmm. That was the, yeah. that he was was the, the savage move. Yeah. He he was in the middle of a commercial for another company and, and gave on Fubu a shot. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. mastermind. 
But uh, yeah, yeah, man. Right, um, Brian. And at, at, the, at the end of the day, I, I'm, I'm, all these books are gonna be movies. You know what I'm saying? Even That's if I, true. even, even, even if um, I gotta shoot them myself. You know what I'm saying? We already know we you're gonna, in the we presence go, of excellence. We gonna get it done. <laughs> we, yeah, all right. That's why I asked. I'm like, you're yeah, in we the gonna get it done. Yeah, we gonna get you, it you, done. You, you know, know what I'm saying? Where... I, I, I went to Snoop. I, you know, I asked Snoop. I went to Cube. I, I gave him the books. Job asked him, put it in his ear. If they don't, if they miss out on it, they gonna miss out on it. You know what I'm saying? And well, that's another. That, that leads me to a, That leads me to another point. We really don't have to go nowhere else. We got everything. I'm sitting in the middle of a of a movie studio You're right in now. You're in a mecca. You know what I'm saying? So we don't network. we don't really have to go nowhere else. We got all the resources. You know what I'm saying? I think one of the things about about us is we kind of we wait until everybody else say that we're mm-hmm. great before we consider ourselves great. We don't respect what we have until everybody else says, oh, that's cool. Nah, it's, it was cool when I thought of it. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Uh, like, like, I mean, all your movies are great. Humbly like, cocky. This is, this, is, this is not a podcast. This is a talk show. You know I'm what I'm here. saying? This is, this, is, this is big as Oprah in my mind. Because I'm, I'm, I'm on it. I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? When, when, I appreciate tell you something. that. Man, I, I can do with her bank account. Listen. I can give me her bank account. That's right. That's Keisha, right. I, I'm with that. I appreciate point. that. In the mom, Keisha, uh, Keisha has a good, a good point. Keisha has a good point in the comments. Right, Keish. People look for validation right. and in the wrong places because right. and here's the thing. I've said this here, and this is just me personally. I mean, it's the thoughts of Cognac Confessions because it's my shit. But it's Deshaun talking to you right now, wholeheartedly. <laughs> That's right. Do I wish I had a million views, a million likes? Yeah, sort of. Yeah, because I want to spread what I'm doing with the knowledge and, and, and the sharing experience of putting people on in the platform. Yes, I wish I had it. Don't wish. In my gut, it's coming. I'm, I get that. Yeah. But here's the thing. Is it something that drives me to do things unethical? Does it make no. me want to do different shit? Fuck no. no. Because who, who fuck with me? Fucks with me, right? And that's all that matters, right? And that everybody leads catch me to on late. Another point. Thank you. <laughs> Let's get this ism, bro. About, we tag team. It's tennis. About, about being yourself. You Thank know you. What I'm saying? Um, my partner Solomon Wilkins. I have posted, you know, being yourself, and, and, and I posted that you know being yourself is hard. And he was like, well, you know, why is it hard? You know, it's it's not hard to be yourself. Well, it is when you, you know, on, on the surface. On the surface, you know, being yourself, okay, well, I'm just going, you know, stick to my guns and I'm going to do this. But nah, being yourself, first of all, you have to find out who you are. Damn, I was just going to say that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us don't even know. A lot of us don't even know who we are. We don't even really know what we like because we've been nurtured in this in this bubble. And, and we're doing what everybody else is doing. And we're saying, okay, that's that's what we do. That's what comfort I like. Comfort zones. But comfort zones and all that. Comfort zones kill dreams. That's, that's not necessarily you. You have to sit back. You have to go inside your own mind, which is the, the hardest and scariest thing to do, because you got to be truthful to yourself. Thank you. And that's She's a hard a thing to do. You got to be truthful to yourself, and you got to say, okay, I don't like this. I like this. You know what I'm saying? This ain't really me. I ain't really that damn tough. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be out here gunning, funning, and gunning. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And then, when you cut out your mind, then you have to act it in real life. And all the people that you done, you done created this character for, now they're like, well, man, you you kind of different now. Oh, man, you ain't with Nah, I'm not with that. I'm being myself. And that's hard to do. Mm-hmm. That's really, really hard to I, do. And that leads me right on into the second book. Let's do it. Now, the second book is about drug addiction. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the main character has an addiction to heroin. Okay. Um, the reason why I chose that subject is because I had an uncle who was addicted to heroin, and I'm, I watched him... Not really struggle with it because he he was and the, the nigga was just cool. He was a cool dude. Mm-hmm. However, he had a drug problem. Right. You know what I'm saying? And everybody so, can relate. Right. Everybody can relate to that. And hence the hence the name of, of the book, Saved by John the Pope. Mm-hmm. You know, Too Short said it. You know, yeah. I come from the city of Dope. Couldn't, couldn't be, be saved, saved by, by John, John the Pope. Pope. Well, this book is called Saved by John the Pope. So, because what he does is he changes the 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 uh, well, with the help of Willie Sharp. 
he 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 gets over his his drug addiction, mm -hmm. and then he turns around. He helps the community to get over that drug addiction, and then they go on to fight the people who are bringing the drugs in. This is some old school nineteen seventies black exploitation type shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the shit that we missing. The shit that we missing. Like in, in our movie, the shit that got wiped out by it got wiped out. The man's ass. It's, 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 it's the, the man, movement. The mafia, the police. That's the right. The ass. movement. That's right. The movement that once y'all gonna get this at three in the morning. The movement that got wiped out by crack, right? By but before it was crack, rims. it was it was heroin. It was heroin. You know what I'm saying because remember, dope. I'll just give you. I, I'm, I'm gonna give you another gem real quick. Dope, along with anything in history, didn't profit money wise until it hit the black community. Musicians were given heroin and whatnot back in the days as a. I'm going to keep him on because that's what you had to give them because yeah, it was yeah. a shit. Nothing was profitable until we consumed it. Once again, made, made it cool. nothing was profitable until we became the consumer. Right. You'll get to that at three in the morning. Right. And so, and so this story, this story is about, about, it's about the recalibration once again, the recalibration of the subconscious mind in order to affect your conscious mind yes. and ultimately your reality. Also, since the book actually officially comes out tomorrow, tomorrow. I'm going to I'm going to drop this gem. I got a bunch of friends who I put in this book. They didn't know that until I just said it. And if they're not watching this, they won't know it until they buy the book. Mm -hmm. But they'll be able to read their names in my book. One of the things I wanted to do was I wanted to, you know, my 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 slogan is all my friends are celebrities. Yeah, right. We are. And I and I honestly believe that every nigga is a star, right? And so um, yes. I want to make that true. And what I want to bring to the forefront of everybody's mind is we get to decide this. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking into the cameras because I want y'all to. It's it's very important yes. that you understand we get to we get to decide who the stars are. Yes. Okay, you don't have to look on TV and say, oh, that's my star there. Nah, look around, look in your family. It's somebody right now with all kind of goddamn talent, but you're not supporting them because you're too busy looking over here. Mm, worrying about who the fuck got five right. kids and Listen. they left and basketball birds exactly. and, and housewives exactly. of uh, Deep Gutter South, whatever the fuck. Even though I like them shows, me and my wife watch them shows all the time. I, I, I done got into them, man. I'll be texting her like, hey, you see, Tetris nah, got kicked I'm, off the show? You know what I'm saying? I, yeah, I'm into it. But, but, Go but, ahead. but at the same time, we have the power to make who we want the stars. And so it's people that I come up with that I looked up to, and I'm like, you know what, they were stars to me before I knew anything about a Jamie Foxx or a, or whatever star that's, that's, that's in the news right now. These were the stars to me. So right. guess what? I'm going to put them in my book. So therefore, they offspring or people that, they, that, that come up, they can say, hey, yeah, you know, I, I was in the book. I, I hear him on the book right here on page such and such. That's me. That's me. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I immortalize all my friends. That's what you, you know what I'm saying? I got a thousand friends, so it's going to take me a minute to put y'all all in there. So don't don't get mad if you're not in this one. That's You'll be in the next forward. one or the next one or the next one. You know what I'm saying? It's so, paying yeah. it forward. It's just giving, right. it's paying homage and just being the essence of where we truly come from. Right. And once again, I say where we truly come from is embracing us and, and celebrating us. That's right. Before, before y'all let, you know, the crack academic, epidemic, all of everything, and I'm going way back before I get to the Fugazi shit that you niggas is on today. My God. This shit is, is These niggas different. is on toilet water. Y'all on some, some bullshit. And, and I understand y'all, oh shit, Vic in the building. Oh my I God. I understand. Hey. I hey, understand. It's about to be a pose off right now. Don't let me off. take my shirt off, man. What's up, crack? I understand, <laughs> y'all. Y'all, I, I, I get it, but I, I hopefully, I hope and and sincerely uh, wish that we get past the, the where we at. Oh yeah, start hurting. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because life, <laughs> life is short. Life is short. We can go on a hands breath. You hear today, right. go on tomorrow. My dad always told me something. Chicken today, feathers tomorrow. Feathers tomorrow, man. Yeah. My grandmother always told me, use your head for more than a hat rack. That's right. And I got a lot of hats. 
and I wear them all. It's you was going. You had to I, move. Yeah, I, 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 I was going, but I had to. Yeah, 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 you drop yeah. your isms, man. man. I, I, I drop them. To, I, I drop mean, them to them every week. Man, I'm, I'm almost scared. I'm like, shit. I don't know if I can top that one. You know what I'm saying? But um, but uh, the books, mm-hmm. the second book, like I said, it's about it's about being able to go into your own mind. Correct the things that 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 may have hindered you, hurt you as a child, because in this book also it talks about the death of his father, uh-huh. right, and how it affected him and how it drove him to drugs. You know what I'm saying? Right. And so um, one of the things uh, I didn't really get too deep into like the structure of how you can, you know, sit down and meditate and 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 really heal yourself in this one. I probably should have, but 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 but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just wanted to kind of, kind of ease up on it, but then in the third, because in the third book we about to go, it's gonna go gonna deep, deep, word. deep. It's gonna go deep, deep. I'm about to really, really put it out there. Um, but for the for the third book, man, I mean, I mean the second book, you know what I'm saying? It's about healing yourself from from any type of uh, 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 what's the word? Uh, trauma. Any type oh, of trauma. PTSD. Any type of, T- healing yourself from the results of the trauma. Right. You know what I'm saying? That that's what it's about. Healing yourself from the results of the trauma. The results of the trauma is addiction. Healing you know yourself. Know? Yeah, healing yourself. Because that, that's what it, that's what it's about. You nobody's can, you coming can, to save you, but you. That's right. Caesar Borgia that's right. is not an elevator. That's right. That's right. And there there is no there is no there is no outside. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I could take it real. There's deep. only in. There there is no outside. There's only in. There's only there's only one energy, and we are all just different manifestations of this one energy. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't, don't like to. Too much. Yeah, I don't like to. I don't like to get don't. get deep into that because I don't want people to think I'm trying to peddle the the, the information. I don't want to peddle the ism. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. I'm not selling you the ism. I'm selling you my story. I'm just inculcating it with the ism so mm-hmm. you can have something to you know think about as you go Resonate. on. Yeah, as as you go on in life. Resonate. You know what I'm saying? I, it's a lot of cats, man. I don't know if I should say this, but fuck it, why not? Go ahead. It's a lot of cats that's that's peddling this ism. Mm-hmm. They 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 dressing up, they putting mm-hmm. on funny ass clothing, mm-hmm. and then they selling you some bullshit. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? It's like pimping pimp the knowledge, and I don't like that at all, man. Thank you. I don't like I, that at all, man. I'm selling you. I'm stand. selling y'all a, 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 a Yeah, yeah, for real. So you go on ahead and said it. I'm selling you a, a excellent story, an excellent story that's going to be turned into a uh, to turn into a movie. Um, and the, and the, and the ism is free. You know what I'm saying? I'm giving y'all that for free. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it's yes. a lot. Of, it, yeah, I, I just don't. I really don't like um, people coming into this. And then, cause what happens? This this is why I don't like it, man. It, 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 this is why I don't like it. Because you'll have people who are genuine and trying to learn something for real, and they coming into it and they getting hooked into some, some bullshit. bullshit. It's like first you got to understand where it come from, and then you got to understand how it how it metamorphosized into what it is now. Damn. You know what I'm saying? First of all, if if I could just real quick, do it. If you don't know who Duce, Duce Muhammad is, then you don't know nothing. If you don't know who Noble Drew Ali is, then you don't know nothing. If you don't know that Drew, Noble Drew Ali, the, the reason why they call, call him, call him call Noble Drew Ali, the reason why they call him Noble Drew Ali is because he got that from the Shriners. The reason why they dress the way they dress because he got it from the Shriners. You know what I'm saying? But people don't want to people don't want to acknowledge that. Now that don't necessarily mean he was a member because you got false members of the uh, Masonic Order, don't do we not? Who we, dress like us? Us. Who, who want to talk like us? But they're not, they not go us. On there because we got a lot. Of, so, not, so, yeah, so, we, so, so, I'm so, limited so, in so that listen, conversation. Yeah, 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 you know yeah. I'm, I'm gonna get off that right we now. So yeah, listen, we, we go but there. listen, they ain't ready but, for that. but but it was about money. So when no one, nobody, nobody drew a lead. Talks about Morocco in America. He was saying Moorish American. Right. The reason why is because he wanted when to give our people nationality. People. You know what I'm saying? But what happens is when you want to start a cult, though, not saying that Noble Drew Ali was doing that, the people that came after him who wanted to start a cult in order to get money, what they do is they try to tie the movement into into antiquity. Right. That's that's a known that's a known it's, tactic it's of people who start start cults. Right, people sensationalize. You know what I'm oh, it's, it's, it's this grand, it's this grand uh, spiritual thing, and yada yada. But it's nah. this great truth that's been hidden from right, you, right. and only right. I can connect. The truth, exactly, exactly. But here's the ism of it: 
and as a brother of where I at in in this in these things, mm-hmm. yeah, stuff is hidden, but yeah, yeah, yeah. it's also in your face. Right. You just have to be right. looking for it. But I'm not talking about that it. so much. I'm talking about the people who it's come in. in plain sight. I'm talking about the people who come in to misuse it. That's what we're right. That's so, what I was saying. So, and so what we have, so we can fast we have, forward. We bastardize we can fast in the forward All the way up from 1915 to now, and yes. you got cats like Dane, what's his name? Dane Calloway. Yeah. This dude is a fraud. He's a complete fraud. Like but I got, I got some of my friends who ain't my friends no more from yeah, battling right. that bullshit, and I told them it's wrong, and they don't want... They don't want to fuck with me no more. You know what I'm saying? But it's well, dude. he said sound real. Man, listen. The man has all been already been proven to be a fraud. You know what I'm saying? But people are still going on to it because they're new to it. Mm-hmm. And see, this internet done fucked everything up. See, when it I gave was, everybody, we were uh, it gave the internet, and I'm not uh, right, wrong, and indifferent. Once again, I'm being devil's advocate. Hey, Camilla. The internet gave everybody instant validation. What it do is giving them so much information. It's giving them too much information. And they they're, they're too lazy to try to decipher it. See, back when we was doing it, we was actually outside on the corner in a cipher. You had to be and outside. You had to have your books. You couldn't Google it. it. Yeah, it had to be in your books. You had to break it out and show where you didn't highlight the information. And you had to know the math. And you had to, you had to talk about it. Now, the math And the person don't get offended if you challenge. And the person does not get offended if you challenge because you know why? Because y'all both standing there. Iron yeah, you can show iron. and prove. Yeah. You are, you're out there with your information right here. And you get to show and prove with the person. And, 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 and you may tell me friends. something that I didn't know, right. which gives me the opportunity to say, ooh, I just got another prism, which is pre-ism <laughs> of light, to expand my cortex right. And the vibe. Oh my God! I'm yeah. Never. Well, you just got to prison. <laughs> <laughs> no, I ain't never been. I ain't never been. You know why? Because it isn't. And That's the right. universe has That's always right. put me in a position That's to right. where I'm good. That's right. But yeah, so, so I'm gonna get off my soapbox. But there ain't no soapbox. Just but, speaking. It's about but, you tonight. But the, but the kids, they gotta they gotta know. They gotta understand that. First of all, number one, the world was here before you was born. You know what I'm saying? For some reason, the youngsters think that they learning something brand new and that again, nobody else has ever heard. Everything to you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, now woke. And yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, oh, you, I'm woke. And they, and the, what, what they always say? I'm just trying to wake my people up. It's like, man, listen, dude. <laughs> You're not gonna wake them up it's by posting job. some bullshit that you got off YouTube, okay? It's a selfless job. Man, come on, man. Well, a lot of people have to Thank understand about academic rigor and the scientific method. Right. Yeah. You are not an expert on the subject right. unless you can argue the pros and, and the, the cons. cons. Right. If exactly. you only can argue the pros, then that right. means that you already have a bias right. and you've only studied things that confirm your that bias. Confirm, right. Exactly. And anybody who says anything different. No, they're wrong. I no, no. don't. That's and yeah. and that's the what you just said. The I part. Mm-hmm. That's the real definition of cognizant dissonance. Mm-hmm. It's it's a it's a physical reaction to information that goes against your own. People just use that word willy nilly like they know it. No, it's it's when you feel physically threatened. That's why if you notice, if you challenge somebody online, they automatically get. I got more money you uh, yeah, yeah, I, 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 I don't super play this internet shit what right, right, right. Like, Dude we're on the internet <laughs> oh, It's just like look, man. I can be the average Joe Blow Don't kill me With, yeah. with seven followers You know what I'm saying I can be, to, to the point I can be the average Joe Blow with seven followers And four of them is family <laughs> right, and I speak an opinion on somebody who has a hundred thousand, fifty thousand Matter of fact hold on 5,000 followers. I'll just keep it minimal for the low-thinking, vibrational people. Just because I speak my truth because I only have seven followers doesn't mean it's not the truth. That's true. That's true. That's true. We live in a world of... we've. I, I, you already know. I hate participation trophies. If right. you don't win, right. you're you know? first loser. Right. I'm sorry. It is what it is. I don't get me wrong. I'm gonna encourage you. Let's try again next year because nothing beats a failure but a try. Right. But if you didn't win, you lost. That's it. That's the truth. Go home and get better. Stop yeah. telling these people. I, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to disencourage or make nobody feel bad. I'm just telling you 
facts and stats. That's right. You either win or you lose. Second place is first loser. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's sick, right there. Choices of truth. Yeah, we got we got a comment from the crowd, y'all. Long, <laughs> long as it's subject. Back big, I'm back big. Back People here, only man. deal with truth in, to their comfort zone level. That's right. Well, that's right. It's, it's only two choices with truth. It's either gonna I mean, put you in a hole. But it's going to motivate you to do better. Those are the choices right. you got. That's exactly. right. And that's people right. don't know those choices, so that's why they deal with it the way they deal with it. Right. When you don't know, you exert it with anger. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Ignorance that's brings right. anger. That's right. Exactly. It leads to the dark side. That's so, right. something that we haven't touched on. Yeah. Where can my people find these books? Man, everywhere books are sold. And, and on this run, I'm actually, since... The pandemic is semi over. I guess it's over. I guess we say it's, it's over. Over everybody. I'm about to start hitting semi I'm to, version. I'm about to start hitting all the uh, mom and pop bookstores. Um, and, uh, uh, I'm Shout deliver. out to the mom and pop yeah. bookstores because you got to keep small businesses in right. business. One of the one of one of the goals, one of my like many goals, is to have a book in, in Marcus Bookstore. You know what I'm saying? Black the home. legendary Marcus Bookstore. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna go down there. I'm gonna put a, put some books in that store. You know what I'm saying? But Right now, online, anywhere books are sold, man, make sure y'all get both of them. Because, I'm I mean, both. you can read Act 2 and not I'm read Act 1. I'm ready for number one, 2. I got the first one. But you I probably want to read Act 1 and Act 2. I had a person hit me and say, look, when does the next book come out? I already read the first book twice. So mm. I'm telling you, and for those, I'm not going to tell the individuals who are actually in the book, but you're in the book. You want to see your name in the book. Man, buy the book, you know what I'm saying? And you can, you know. No, we don't know best man shit. Best man what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no, 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 no. No, because no, that's what I didn't do. <laughs> I got it. I, I, and that's it. Here's the thing. I'm going to just say. He did. He, he did. Know, though, I, yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, that was I'll crazy. Never, but you two, once again, just giving kudos to my to my brethren that's sitting next to me giving you flowers while you're here and I can tell you in your face both of these men are authors mm-hmm. I have sat in back and I have plenty of thoughts and I'm by no means perfect I'm a Sagittarius it's the closest thing you get to perfect mm-hmm. and humble <laughs> humbly cocky I'm Sagitt- <laughs> the closest thing you'll ever get to perfect is a Sagittarius but I'm just going to say, I've sat and I've conversed with y'all like, dude, I got all these isms and ideas and shit I want to do. I have movie ideas, books, scripts, poetry, all the shit in my head. And they be like, dude, I just sit, I be at work and whatever, and I just pin shit down. Hell yeah. I just write it down and woo woo, and I'm like, okay. And I'm on, I'm, I procrastinate and I still get it done is the reason why I still procrastinate. But... You two are living embodiments of when I say people who get it done, they get it done. Yeah. You don't wait on people. And once again, I ain't perfect. Yeah, I don't let no. I'm a Sagittarius. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm not doing that, man. I'm. I'm not. I'm not. I. I sit, and even myself. Once again, I'm just telling. I'm giving y'all my Voltron deflector shield shit right now. <laughs> this is the deflector defect. I don't got many of them, but there's one. But I sit with these brothers sometimes, and I chat, and I, oh man, man, and I listen to them, I talk, and they go with that. I'll be like, man, they just, man, this is what I did. And I'm like, damn. And then I try to emulate the shit they doing, but I'm lazy, so I don't. But you I know don't what, follow though? through. But I respect and honor what y'all do, because I be so busy that I don't, but, man. So so here's one of the here's one of the things that that, that, that really helped me finish the first book. The second book was kind of kind of easy. The, the, fir- to the, my the, 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 the first book, the first book, what led me to really finish it is what I sent it to my wife, Sharon Sharon in the house. Sis in the house. Uh, sis know, behind the uh, scene. You know what I'm saying? Sis, um, hey, sis was here first interview. Sis been here before books. Yeah. So yeah. I, I, I sent the I sent the, the, the first three chapters to her. And my cousin Jay Will, in fact, Jay Will is the one who edited my mm-hmm. second book. Um, and they were like, "Dude, this is good. This this is good. You should keep going." And so I'm like, "All right, well, fuck it. I'm gonna keep going." But then, like, I got anxiety, and so I got bad anxiety. So one of the things is I kept worrying, man. If I don't finish this, 
motherfuckers gonna look at me like I'm a sucker. Like I ain't really, I ain't who I say I am. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I can't have that. I just can't have it. You know what I'm saying? If I say I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Damn, to my own detriment. If I say I'm gonna do it, it's getting done. Mm-hmm. So that's what got that got me through the first book. Um, the second book, it, it was one of those things where okay, now I believe in myself. Now, now you know what I can do it. And then he said something. He was like, dude, I done wrote hella books where I stopped because I didn't know page count. Page count is a motherfucker. Mm-hmm. If you structure the book correctly, you can see how many pages you have, mm-hmm. right? And a lot of times you don't know. You done wrote half a damn book, but you think it's only a couple of pages. Well, it's probably more, more than that. You think you may even write, wrote like 15 pages, but you done wrote half a book. Mm-hmm. You just don't know it because you don't know the structure, right? right? So if you're out there trying to write a book, Did my yeah. advice to you Try to write a page a day. Whatever that looks like Everybody to you. Everybody that have, I've talked to have said that same shit. And if you write in 8 by 11 day. like I was doing, Old school, I literally, elementary school, I knew a book, I knew, I knew a book had double to space. be. Double space. <laughs> I knew a book had to have a certain it's, it's length. This book about this big and thing, I knew I had to have a Counting certain length. Pic, no page, and finally, no pictures. I had got to about 80 pages. Right. And I, knew that it, I knew, and I was just out of story like this ain't long enough. And somebody said, "Well, maybe you should put it as a short, as a as a as a short book." And I'm right. like, "Okay," because I was feeling discouraged because I had put my all into writing this right. book, right. and I'm only up to eighty pages. Right. Right. And then when I got there, somebody said, "Okay, you need to format, format. it five by exactly. eight, this and that." And then I formatted, it, and I actually had two hundred and twenty-three right. pages. That's I right. was hoping to get to at least a hundred pages, right. and I'm thinking I can't reach this, and I'm out of story. I just stretched it all I can, mm-hmm. and it was actually two hundred some story. But I didn't know anybody who had wrote books, right? Who would, who could right. advise me? Because sometimes we right. go into endeavors, right. but we don't know anybody who's already been That's there, right. so we don't have anyone to give right. us. Tips or game or, or and advice. don't let that stop you. And don't circle. let that. Yeah, stop I still you. push forward. Yeah. I said, "Fuck it, I'm gonna work with what I got." And I then I, and then I found man, out right that not only you. did I have yeah. enough, I had more than enough. Right. So a lot of y'all out there that's trying certain things, you and you might know. not think you got enough. Right. You actually got all you need right. already, and you right. already Real. got right. it. You right. just probably right. don't have the knowledge to format it or focus it. But trust me, yeah. And deeper still. Even with even the, sh- the words on the page, you already got the talent. That's already in you too. Mm-hmm. All the tools you need to complete whatever mission right that you're time, trying yeah. to do, it's already in you. You don't, you, man. Just you do. have the tools. You not already. gonna never be ready in your mind. You 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 got you got to just go for it. People wait for the perfect you moment to, go for it. to to happen, and the perfect moment. Doesn't happen. Right, right. The moment is say, the moment. My grandmother say, "Taste and see." Yeah. That's the only way you gonna know if that soup is good or not. You got to taste and see. And some yeah. of y'all waiting. Some of y'all not gonna start to act in yes. here until you lose ten more pounds. Right. Or you are not gonna do this until this. They got or you not actors? gonna do this until that. Yeah, I'm or a you're fat stripper. Not, or you not gonna get in the <laughs> studio. You are not gonna get in the <laughs> yeah, studio yeah. And, and record your R and B album until yeah, you right. finish this up. I've been in get this all promotion at the job, whatever. Right. Man, you got what it takes because yeah, you put too much. Because we put too much emphasis on what somebody else's approval thinks of what it is true to us. Right. It's got to be just right. Ain't no such thing as just right. Man, put that shit out, whatever it is. I still do my music, man. I, I, I don't care. Because I, I like doing music. I have music in a minute. You know what I'm saying? I like doing I, what, what, what you would do for free is what you should be doing. And I if do you, music for free. I mean, I, love, again, I get a little, I get a little, little love change it, from it. But yeah, whatever you... Love right. what you do. Because you... I, bro, once again, we, this is about you. You, you be with everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because you, you be because, with, because you be I, with, I, I'm, I'm manifesting my my slogan. All my like friends are I celebrities. Said, exactly, you know what I'm saying for real. Max Sean, we remember we Everybody. and I hit Sean. I said, bro, because he said, oh, he, cause we posted about tonight. And he was like, man, what's up? I said, cuz oh, whenever you ready, that's right. Tap in. That's it's right. all good. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. And through that, families, that brother done walked me into rooms that I never thought I would be able to. be Shout in. out to Max you know Sean So man, I got in the room doing and did my thing. Yeah, shout out to the Mac. Man, shout out sure. to the Mac, Hell man. Yeah. Run Hell sideways, yeah. this way, that way. <laughs> and I, bu- I was about to say something else, but I know what you're saying. And when you say it, yeah, cause yeah don't get flipped outside. upside down, fucking with the Mac, man. For uh-huh. real, yeah, for real, for real. Anyway, on the stage if you want to. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna really be a problem. It's gonna really be a problem. But anyway, we keep so, it positive, positive you energy. Know what I'm saying? Buy my book. 
Buy my book. It's, it's going to do you good. Get get the book. It's soul food. The Incredible soul Life soul. of Willie Sharp, Volume 1. It's, it's soul food, Act man. 2. That's right. Couldn't be saved, but no. Saved, saved by, by John, John the Pope. Pope. That's right. And, and and we already gave you a, a little bit. He said it's a Volume 3. Oh, so yeah. I already tell yeah. you. It's a trilogy yeah. at a minimum. Yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be about maybe five five books. No, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be five books or more. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's hey, that's on some yeah. Harry Potter shit. Yeah. Black because, authors, black mindsets, y'all got to get into that. So so what it is is each book is a segment of my own life as well. There you go. You, you know what I'm saying? So, shit. you know, you had the, you know, when I was a kid, you know what I'm saying? And then you have when that when I was dibbling and mm -hmm. dabbling, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And then you're going to go into when I was on 32nd and Linden, between 32nd and Linden In the West. And, 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 and 54th and, uh, and uh, Martin Luther King, you know what I'm saying? Fun and the gunning. Then you're going to go to... You know, my, my wife don't like me to bring this up, but I wanted to be a pimp so bad, so bad. Shout out to not Fat Shine. Shout out to Fat Shine. He used to laugh at me every day because that's everybody. all I used to talk about. You know what I'm saying? I mentioned pimping little, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Who, who pulled me to the side and, man, this is how you do it, Rob. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. um, I, I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about that in, in the it next book. Nobody. But all the books, are they're just stories. The, 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 the ism is going to be inculcated in each and every story. And um, that's 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 what I want you people to to enjoy the story, catch the ism, and, and and possibly turn your own life around. If you're not happy in your life, this is the way you turn oh, it around, right. man. Go inside, man. Go inside, man. Change like you might you, some shit that happened yeah. to you when you was a kid, or some shit that happened to you that may have that may be uh, an obstruction to 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 your to your life right now, man. Go inside your mind, recalibrate that shit. Look at it a different way yes. and, and change your life, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what these books is about, man. You know what I'm saying? saying? For real, for real. Yeah. And the childhood trauma is a motherfucking the lot of The childhood trauma is, is all that it's about. And every single black person has a form of childhood trauma. That's the point. But, but we don't... We, we, look, look, don't man, look, man, look there, there's a doctor. I forget her name, PTSD. man. But she talks about um, you post got breast slave breast syndrome. You even got yeah. PTSD. Yeah, post slave syndrome, where you know because you what, what they're the finding nipple. out that if even if you hear about you something ripple. something crazy happening, you can have a, you can you can form PTSD from it. MJ so imagine something. that. On the news every night, we hear about people getting shot. You hear about some oh man, you know, so just blew his head uh, off. We you just know, but, but it's a little kid right there hearing that like, what the fuck? You right. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Let me give you the ism. And this is for you red meat eaters out there. Oh, yeah. Cat Williams even oh, said it. That's another thing. <laughs> we, got, we can go there. Yeah, yeah you no, know no, me. I, I go. Man, I, I just, you know I, me. I had no breaks. This Sunday, I'm probably... I, 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 I didn't get banned, banned go, once. Look, I try not to get banned look, again. Cat Williams said it. I've always said it. But he said... I said it before, and I'm not saying I said it before him. I'm just saying I've said this before. But here's the thing. Y'all buying oxtails and ain't no oxes in America. I just say that. I'm not gonna go too deep hey, into it. <laughs> hey. Not true. <laughs> yeah, that ain't true. Yeah, there not actually true. is ox. Yeah. Ox in America. Yeah, but sure. Not me either. No, no, no it's, 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 it's definitely ox. Grass fed, which makes them vegan. So that means you're vegan too if you eat meat. By extension. <laughs> right, right, right. right, right, right. <laughs> So I identify as a porn star. <laughs> Is that right? Hey, All hey, sex hey, impossible. Based on the bullshit, y'all hey, just said. No, no, no. I, I know. Fuck that. You already know. You I'm. Eat like, porn? I, you eat porn? <laughs> I can identify. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not white. I'm just saying. I'm identify with the bullshit y'all just said. Based on that <laughs> shit, I identify. Alpha male, I, he just had a physical reaction to the truth. Yeah, 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 yeah. I identify. Alpha male as alpha I identify male. as what's his name? Uh, some Mike. Where you get your testosterone from? Uh, I got as my an alpha male. If you don't eat meat, where you get your testosterone from? And no testosterone in plants. I, uh, I know it ain't. Okay. So, so, but now they they do have alternatives. Um, you got you got Tom Cat Ali. You got in and a few more that that you can take. You know what I'm saying? I I for my I for myself take Tung Cat Ali. Um, it's a supplement. It's, 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 a, it's supplement. a supplement. It's a supplement. Um, it's righteous because, and healthy. Which is processed. 
which is doing just as bad to your liver as meat would. Well, uh -uh. well, the doctor, the doctor told uh -uh. me, the doctor told me that I need to uh, seriously consider a plant-based diet. Right. Um. After you know, oh, and a, so after consideration, good. we'll talk after. I said, you know what? Mm -hmm. mm, I think I'm going to do that. You know okay. what I'm saying? And what I, what I, what, what I was most afraid of, you know, I love lifting weights. I love lifting heavy weights. Mm -hmm. That's my thing. I was afraid I was going to lose my strength. Come to find out, you don't lose no strength. You don't lose no strength. You lose a lot of fat, a lot of stress, you know what I'm saying, in your life. How you know long have you been plant-based? About a month now. Okay. You know what I'm saying? For that's, sure. that's a hard month. And I'm finna mess it up on third on uh, Sunday because I'm going to eat me some Kifo, man. Who are, People don't know Kifo is a um, East African, Eritrean, Ethiopian dish of uh, steak tartare, basically raw, raw beef. You know what I'm saying? Um, I love it. And so I'm probably, I'm probably gonna get into that on Sunday, but uh, mm -hmm. but for the most part, man, yeah, man, no, no, no meat. You know what I'm saying? Just just uh, vegetables as much as I can, and yeah. So, and just to, to piggyback off what you're saying <laughs> real quick, cause yeah. I'm just and once again I'm gonna give y'all this quick ism. I try to drop them <laughs> off to y'all. Really, I really do, cause I don't want this to turn into some fucking uh, Twilight Zone shit. Y'all seen? I seen the videos. I researched all the shit. Uh, T uh, Trey here. Uh, my nephew here, and he's a youngster, and I'm cussing, and I'm trying to keep it pi. So my bad. But here's the thing. He, he just got here a minute ago. You know, if he wasn't here, I'd really get y'all the business. But I'm going to say this. Food, food, food. You need food substances to survive and right. water. But here's the thing. You just seen video of hundreds of thousands of cows yeah, where y'all get y'all testosterone from dead because of it was too hot. Motherfuckers couldn't survive a sauna, but anyway, I'm going there, and you had all these. You, 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 hold on, listen, let me finish. You had the chicken processing plant with the eggplant that mysteriously caught on fire. You had yeah, this other food yeah, processing it's plant undeniable. that you mysteriously can't, can't caught really, on fire. Yeah. You had so much yeah. going on with meat substance industry all yeah, over, yeah, and yeah, if you yeah. really think this shit is by accident. Can I go back to my original quote when I started this podcast? Mm -hmm. Can I be, can I go there? I, I'm trying to be socially conscious. And <laughs> what I'm going to say right now is not kill yourself. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, you shouldn't have said that. But anyway, yeah, so, uh, <laughs> you know, how about them warriors? <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> so I, I told I'd go there. We got a nutrition talk next <laughs> Friday on Buzz. Yeah, you know, yeah. But. Think about the box that you're getting put into, because once again, the premises of what we were talking about with this ism is your attention span is being shrink to the level of sweat on a gnat's balls, and you'll get that at three in the morning. So another thing before we go, um, like as far as like information that that Americans are receiving, you know, um, you know, people in England, people in other countries. They're they're starting to make videos and and they're appalled at the limited amount of that Americans really know. You yes. know what I'm saying? Because we don't we don't really understand what's going on in the rest of the world. So you know, and that's kind of scary. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, but by my well, we book, hate China. Yeah, I guess, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I guess. You, know what I'm saying? <laughs> you feel me? Yeah, like. But we hate I, China because they control everything their people see. Right. And right. we're limited. But I'm saying that. yeah. that's Stockholm syndrome. I remember. I remember, <laughs> I remember that someone wants a European guy told me said, "Hey, if you want unbiased news, watch Al Jazeera." Right. Right. And. I brought. I was still at the base, right. and I brought that up, and somebody said, "That's Muslim proper." Everybody was like, Muslim "Oh my God, God right. you're gonna!" And, and I was like, "Well, they 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 got a reputation around the world for just giving a little bit better perspective." Because around here, if we watch MSNBC, that's biased one way. Mm -hmm. We watch Fox, and that's extremely biased the other way. Right. And so you're right, we, Americans. That confirmation bias. We usually believe a certain thing, and then we only watch news or consume information right, or media that, that confirms that, that anything right. outside that bubble is 
is right. is crazy. And America would be a lot better place if people did try to add a little bit of balance, right? Or really try to see things from other people's perspectives. You have to, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Limited perspective brings about limited uh, limitations. So, but you know what would span your limitations? Yes. Buying these books. books. Buying these books. <laughs> Get this ism. You know what yeah, I'm saying? that's right. You got to expand your horizons because, I mean, think about it. If, and we've seen the meme, if a man, if, I'm, I'm 47. By the grace of God, I'm 48 this year. I've seen a lot of things in my day. I can write a book. We talked, we've talked. I can write some shit and 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 it'll be truth, and I'll never tell nobody who did nothing because that ain't I'm lasagna, G. But I'm just saying. I almost it's lost my, my train of thought. <laughs> but seriously, yeah, he, he got two bark for himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Sometimes you the bug, sometimes you the windshield. <laughs> but. That's why I'm kidding. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the truth is the truth, and it will shock the fuck out of you. Yeah. yeah. When you really accept it and understand it and right. allow yourself to embrace the thought of something different than what you've been prescribed or programmed right. Right. to think, adjust, and digest. Right. Because your gut, speaking of digest, they all ready for this. Your you, if you know, your stomach is your second brain. Huh? Huh? I, I give you something. No, no. There, 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 I got oatmeal. There are, there are. I got oatmeal studies. grits. Yeah. I, I make grits with sugar. I make grits with salt and pepper. Which one you want? I got the right. food for you. So it's called shut up and eat when I cook. Hey, you know your diet does have a profound effect on oh. your mind state, for sure. How many people yeah. been hangry? Yeah. Understand you 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 get the signs. It's all there for you. I just understand it and I study it. Right. When you go down the rabbit hole and really go, you're gonna be angry because the truth. You don't understand that Voltron <laughs> is deeper than five lions. Right, right. Simba ain't got shit on this. <laughs> But anyway, we finished. Oh my. See, yeah, see, y'all got me ready. Y'all oh! y'all not ready. I'm just going to give you bits and pieces. Because I learned uh, you can't, in which I, I applied it. I apply it every now and then. I give you a dribble of it, dribble of a dribble. Because just like the people that got y'all hooked on all these drugs, right? they gave it to you a ibble at a time. Mm hmm. So if I'm gonna give you the ism, if we, excuse me, I ain't go I, there's no I and team, but it's I and championship. Word, shout out to the Warriors. Uh, if we gonna give you the ism, we gotta learn to give it to you in drip form, cause some of y'all need an IV. For real. On your soul. That's right. That's deep. I'm gonna put that in my neck. <laughs> Hell yeah, you need an IV on your motherfucking soul. I'm just saying, we just keeping it a bus, man. Your death and I ain't you're talking about 99 cent plus one. <laughs> Golly. Oh, man. Yeah. See, uh, bro, tell everybody where they can find you at. So I've always been terrible at uh, giving my uh, social media. Because uh, you got, yeah. Um, so you can find me at, on Instagram, it's author uh, underscore Rob Hankins. Um, that's, on my, that's on my Instagram. Uh, Yahoo. Uh, I don't know what the hell I am on Yahoo. I mean, not Yahoo. Uh, YouTube. But you'll find it. Don't worry about it. Um, I have another Instagram account that's Robert Thurston Hankins Jr. Um, uh, my Facebook is what's my Facebook? Robert Thurston Hankins. Uh, Robert Thurston. Hey, just, just type yeah. in my name. You gonna find me. You know what I'm saying? Um, and matter of fact, shout out. Um, I hope shit. he's watching, man. Shout out to We Is Gang TV. Uh, that young brother, he's a YouTuber, man. Uh -huh. I love his channel, man. The way he, <laughs> the way he observes. And what he has to say, man, is a brilliant thing. I'm going to have to check him and, out. Yeah, man, check him out, man. He followed me the other day, and I got excited. Like, oh, shit, I'm somebody now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So That's what's uh, uh, check that dude out uh, when you get a chance. Um, and I believe that is it. Um, uh, 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 shit, man. Twitter. What is my Twitter? Um, 
They know my fire your shit. <laughs> uh, oh, the Reverend Five Ten on Twitter. Uh, yeah, I remember um, that one. Yeah. Uh, I don't have uh, Twitter, but yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, man. If, and then if you go, just Google my name, man, I'm 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 all over it. It's gonna pop up. Zoda Roaster once said. And my if, shout out look, murders. Zoda Roaster once said, we will be on if there. I can't put your name, if I can't put your name in Google and and, and nothing comes up, you're a nobody. That's what he said. And that, that's what my goal. So when you type in my name in Google, all my books and all my shit is gonna come up. That's what's up. Yeah. And if you if you if you want to check out my music, you go to uh Spotify or Apple Music or any of those platforms and look and check out uh brother yeah. R B O R dot R A apostrophe I D brother I E that you brother know check out some of my instrumentals and stuff like that. That's what's up. Yeah, Pharaoh, what can they find you at? Hey, they can. Uh, you can look me up at Feral Films. I, I'm I'm also unable to keep up with a lot of things, so I just made it Feral Films across everything. You go Snapchat, Simplify Twitter, TikTok, Facebook, mm-hmm. all that Feral Films, and you'll see some variation of my grinning face. <laughs> For real, and me. I'm your hostess with the mostest, Mr. Keep It Cloudy, the king of the smoke, uh, Deshaun. And you can find me at Cognac underscore confessionals on Instagram. And if you know me personally, you know my name on Facebook. If you don't know me personally, follow the Facebook Cognac Confessionals page. Uh, I don't, And I'm not being funny when I say that. Please, I say this every show because I get people who try to follow me personally and I don't have no idea who the fuck you are. And I'm not, I'm not being funny. My personal page is that personal. It's family. It's good shit. My Kanye Confessionals page is open to y'all. Let's do it. But follow me. We can do it. We're going to make it happen. Tonight, we about to head to... Make sure y'all tune in tonight. That's right. Uh, we're going to watch another premiere of my sister's Keeper Stronghold tonight. Boom. At Liberation Park in Oakland. Movie Town shit. Is, is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Movie shit. That we... And affiliated with and got to do with associated with here at Where Media Meet Studios. That's right. We always trying to make it happen, you know what I'm saying? Whether papping, capping, or rapping, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And bra strapping, whatever it is, capping. Right. You know what I'm saying? Hey. But we finna roll. Uh, I appreciate everybody that tuned in. Shout out to everybody that tuned in in the comments. Uh, I'm humbly appreciative of your uh, ability to pay attention to something I have to say more than five seconds because a lot of society's uh, attention span is shorter than the match balls. And yet you goldfish. To, you got damn goldfish. Y'all chose to <laughs> sit here and tune in with us, and I humbly appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? I'm team humble, hashtag humbly cocky. That's my shit, my term. Uh, that's what it is. Uh... This weekend, matter of fact, uh, can we do this? Uh, I need, I need yeah, to toast yeah, it. Yeah, it's, it's Friday. You know, they happen to have Juneteenth and Father's Day on the same day. You know, things intersect when the centipede. Remember, uh, Michael Jackson's si- older sister, Reeby, she had the song in the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> See, oh, I'm dropping this. Told y'all, y'all going to eat. I'm your player partner, man. I got game. I know some things. Hey, hey can, I, can I do this? Hey, listen. You can do what you want to do. Shout out to my to my sons, uh, Lil Rob, JJ, yeah, Raheem, cool. my two daughters, Zamil and Razia. I know y'all ain't seeing this because you know, but they you guys, it, you guys will see it. You know, yeah, when I show it to you. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, and, every, and all my nieces and nephews, everybody. You know what I'm saying? I'm showing y'all. I'm showing you. You can do it. Y'all see me at my worst. Now look at me. I'm on TV and doing all kind of shit. Okay, sure. talking big shit. Uncle Rob is out here talking big shit. So you can do it too. All right. Oh, and welcome home, John. Welcome home, John. He just did 12 years. He ain't years. got shit in that glass. <laughs> <laughs> nah, fuck that. <laughs> fuck that. No. He got back no. in the glass. Look at that. Man, come fuck on, him. man. Yeah, uh, hey, shout out to John, man. Welcome home. He just did 12 years, man. Hey, welcome home, brother. Yeah. Yeah. Right. My doctor told me a plant-based diet. They said at first, at least get off the, the liquor and the pork chop. <laughs> hey, for and then, you know, get off they the said pork first. Small, small steps. <laughs> <laughs> small steps. You get off the pork first. But no, seriously, uh, shout out to all the fathers. It's Father's yes, Day yes, weekend. Yes, yes, yes. It's Juneteenth this weekend. For, like I said, they intersect on the same day, which means fathers, we ain't going to get shit. But... <laughs> Hey, hey, yeah. hey, hold on. It's a glide, it's a gift. If we wouldn't have skied it, they wouldn't have needed it. That's one of the greatest gifts. It's a glide, it's a gift. God damn. Go somewhere in my honor. <laughs> Once again, wholeheartedly, 
Shout out to all the fathers. Salute to all y'all. And remember, it's Father's Day. Not uh, we don't, I, and it's not a diss or nothing. We don't care if you was a single parent and the dude wasn't around. I'm the mother and father's the father. Day. <laughs> if you got titties, you ain't no father. Hey, we selling Father's Day baskets on East 14. I've been raising my kids. Shout out. I respect it, but hey, you got Mother's Day. Oh, what's that qualifier? Shout out to all the good fathers that are in their kids' life, this mm, and that. See, when nobody on Mother's Day is like, shout out right. to the good mothers. Right, right. So right, right. Just there. Happy right. Mother's Day. Happy yeah. Father's Day to all you fathers out there. Much love and respect. And Please continue to be and in your June kids' team. lives. And remember, it's balance. Kids need a mother. Kids need a father. It's, it's about balance and support and giving your kids something stable to see and... So they can make the great decisions because regardless of you with the parent or not, and I'm giving you some shit right now. Yeah. It's the three in the morning talk right now because I feel it in my soul. That's right. And I ain't never sold it because I'm, yeah, I'm still broke. No, I'm not. But, yeah. <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> Maybe so. I'm <laughs> But no. I'm just saying. No, seriously. It's, it's about giving and teaching because everything was mouth to ear. The things that y'all gravitated to today and lost the essence of what was taught to us from yesterday is important today. And then if you keep ignoring today and yesterday, you'll never be ready for tomorrow. But hey, it's all love and light. Yeah, and, and one more thing before we go. Do it. Juneteenth. We need to change our perspective about Juneteenth. First of all, Ab Abraham Lincoln Two. denied free the slaves. He was forced to. He was forced to. Do what he he did lost votes because of the Geechee Gullah Wars. That was the war led by the Igbo Africans. Okay, and they had to. Ha they was tearing shit up, and so he had to let us go. Mm -hmm. All right, boom. That's why I celebrate it. You better know your history you before you become a mystery. For real. And you wonder why you just sit back drinking regular Hennessy, and we drinking shit above that. But God. Damn. Mm, you'll get talk that, that talk. Three in the morning. But hey, I really humbly appreciate everybody tuning in tonight. My name is Deshaun. Thank you for tuning in to Cognac Confessionals. I have my guest tonight. We tuning in. We chilling. And we about to go do some other things. And as usual, now it's time to say goodbye oh. to all my Negro friends. Hey, I'll catch y'all niggas tomorrow. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>